Hello everyone, here is a half cut cell solar panel and you're wondering what exactly is the difference between the half cut cell solar panel and the regular solar panels. Okay, if you hang on long enough, you will find out. <laughs> Welcome back guys, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. This, if this is your first time on our channel, please kindly subscribe, all right? You have absolutely no idea how much you're helping us to grow. And besides, you'll be the first to get notification when we have brand new videos coming out. Thank you so much for your support. This is a half cut cell solar panel. So what's the difference between the half cut cell solar panel and your regular solar panel? So I'll let you guys in on this quickly. Uh, what these guys have cleverly done is that they've reduced the size of the cell so that more cells can fit into the bus bars. So here are the bus bars and here are the cells, all right? So when you reduce the size of the cells, more cells can fit into the bus bars, thereby doubling the output production and that is incredible. All right, so they have delicately cut the cells into half, reduced the size, and now fit in more cells into the solar panel. So overall, you're gonna have a lot of cells going in. So for this particular size of um, solar panels in your regular traditional solar panels, you would have uh, between 62 and 72 cells. But right now, they've increased it to 120 to 140. And that's amazing. So that's like doubling the output production. All right, so the half cut cells would definitely, most definitely give you more energy over your traditional solar panel. And what's interesting to note is the fact that the solar panel is now clearly divided into two. You can see the white line clearly dividing the solar panel into two equal halves. All right, so you might wanna ask, why is it divided into two? All right, this is essentially done to address the issue of shading which has been plaguing the solar panel for years. All right, situations where you have particular cells blocked off or patched off, when you have leaves overhead and some cells are blocked, what it potentially does is that it drags down the entire output that is connected. All right, so but with what I've done, they've made the two sections of the solar panels to work independent of each other. So in situations where this solar panel is blocked or you have some cells that are you know blocked away from sunlight or light um, it no longer affects the entire output so because they work independent of each other this works alone and this other half works alone so it no longer affects it all right so if you have a lot of series connections that you've done it's pretty safe because it's not going to drag the entire output down any longer so that's what i've achieved uh in doing that so that dual function for me is really beautiful because it protects uh, the entire production that we've done because sometimes you really can't tell what can block off a cell. The half cut cell solar panel is built with the PRC technology which is a higher efficiency model in the solar cell technology. So always remember the more cells you have equals more power production output in your solar panel and that's the idea behind having to reduce the cells so that more cells can fit into the bus bars more cells can fit into the solar panel to produce more energy so in this space what i have done is to simply double the output of the solar panels so you can generate more energy in a very small space so you can have more kilowatts or more wattage generated in a very small place as opposed to having a whole lot of solar panels installed. Right, it's also very important to let you know that whilst the cells have been delicately cut into half, all right, the um, current is also halved. And this takes care of the resistive uh, travel loss in energy that you always experience when you have installations done from the point of installation to of the control devices. So when you have that travel you know, energy coming in, at some point, the energy begins to drop. But right now, because the current is half, that takes care of that as well. And you ensure that whatever output you're getting from the solar panel, you know, get to the point of the controls. And of course, to the point of the usage of the output that you generate. All right, guys, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so very much. It's smiling sun, everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, please, what are you waiting for? Kindly help us to subscribe. Uh, press the bells below so we can notify you when we have new videos coming up. Thank you guys so much and see you in the next video.